our forecast a little bit now. Yeah, we're told by Zach Green that uh, summer's going to make a visit, but only very quickly, a return oh, visit this yes. week. Yes, it's going to be a very short stint of what will ultimately be close to 80 degrees, and some areas got just around there today, but most of us fell shy of it. Got to 75 for many locations. That's still above our seasonal average, but the record is 88. Yesterday, we were into the low 80s in many spots, so today certainly felt more fall-like of the two, and our temperatures overnight will continue to drop off, and most are going to land into the 40s. So so last evening, we were actually on the milder track. This time around, may opt to actually shut the windows. It might be just cold enough with a little bit of a breeze kicking through that you don't want them open overnight. That being said, we are going to have a rather nice way to kick off our week with sunshine returning once again. By midday, we're back into the low 60s in the afternoon hours, anywhere from about 65 to 67 degrees on the higher end. I do think for coastal locations, we'll still be locked into the low 60s for our afternoon highs. But we were mentioning it, a gradual warm-up as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday day, but it's all associated with a pocket of low pressure, and this is the one that was actually bringing widespread snow out into the northern Rockies, Montana, actually getting over two feet of snow just in the past two days. Thankfully, we have no concern with those flakes, and in fact, this red line is the warm front that's going to usher in some milder temperatures. So Tuesday and Wednesday, back into the 70s, close to 80 degrees as we head into midweek, but there is going to be a very defined line, and at this point, we don't exactly know where this front is going to land, which means that if it moves a little farther south as we go into the early afternoon, the low 80s, as suggested by this model right now, may be difficult to come by, and we actually land into the 60s. But if it stays a little farther north, that means we keep some of those warmer temperatures around through the afternoon hours. Regardless, we are going to be dealing with more clouds than anything else as we bring back rain chances that afternoon. Moving into Thursday and Friday, that's when the temperatures really take a tumble. We'll discuss that in just a moment in the seven-day forecast. But we still have to take a look at the tropics, which is major Hurricane Lorenzo. Doesn't seem like an impact for most land, but we may actually feel some of the effects here locally as there is a rip current concern and maybe even some higher swells farther offshore. Now, it's going to be well to the east of Cape Cod and the islands, but from Monday afternoon through Tuesday night, we have the chance of seeing at least some of that come along to coastal locations in Massachusetts as well as Rhode Island. So I don't think it's going to be that much of a risk as most folks are saying we're wrapping up those beach days, but it's at least something to consider for boaters as well. Monday is going to be the coolest of the next few. Tuesday back into the mid-70s with a late day chance of rain. Wednesday dealing with some scattered showers and Ken, that's when we approach 80 degrees and I guess we'll want to hold on to that while we can because the 50s return for our afternoon highs Thursday and Friday and even though we wrap up the rain for next weekend, we are going to stay on that cooler track. A little bit yucky later in the week, huh? Uh, second half is certainly yeah. going to be dreary.